Hey folks, uh, Justin here. For those of you that don't know me, um, fast entrepreneur, love things that go fast, competitive athlete, Princeton graduate economics. Um, and basically, I want to share some of the things that are on my mind. I hope it helps you. I hope you find some value. And I hope you're having a great day. So, uh, I'm going to make this uh, you know, pretty brief, but uh, you know, the goal is that you get some value from it. Uh, you know, think about it. Uh, you know, communicate with your friends or with me. Uh, and we'll see how we can push the ball forward. So the topic on my mind right now uh, is, you know, I've been speaking recently. Um, I'm trying to think about, you know, well, you know, what's really going on. I follow exponential technologies. And the one thing that's really kind of com coming back over and over and with a sense of urgency is the idea of um, technological unemployment, you know, question mark. Um, but it seems to me that, you know, the trends and the evidence are showing that more and more uh, human tasks, jobs are, are being um, taken over by machines. Yes, uh, new, new, new opportunities are being created. The question is, will they be created fast enough? And if not, uh, you know, what does that mean for people that are displaced or disrupted? You know, can we as a society handle, um, handle uh, this stress on the system? And you know, my guess is that linear institutions, business, government, uh, and others, you know, will most likely be able to handle for a while. Um, but if if the pace of change is truly exponential, there may come a point where uh, we need to act yesterday. And so that's why I'm shooting this video is, you know, to kind of not only get the discussion started, but I think we got to start really taking some action, uh, like today, if not yesterday. And so... Um, What's really on my mind is the most vulnerable. You know, the way I look at it is, you know, we're all here on this planet together. We're all, nobody knows how we get, you know, we didn't ask to be here, but we're here. We're trying to get through this together. But it's survival. And, you know, some people, uh, we know that we've got, you know, a lot, a lot of people have very little and, you know, a few people have a, a lot. And the way I look at it is, you know, if something happens to your means of survival, what do you do next? And, you know, I think it's, to me, it's all about time. Some people, hey, they lose their job, they lose their source of income, they could survive for years. I mean, no big deal. But for most people, that's not the case. And, you know, maybe they're living week to week or month to month. And, you know, that's why I say, you know, for it's how much time you have if something like this should happen. And it looks like this uh, trend is only continuing to grow. And so that's why I think that we need to seriously, you know, just think about how we're going to care and take uh, you know, care for the most vulnerable and care for one another as we move forward. This is where I think that we just need an action plan, uh, and I think that we should just do it now. And so, with that being said, uh, what else is there on the topic? I mean, I guess to stress the urgency, um, you know, I think a lot of times we kind of wait and see, wait and see, wait and see, but, you know, how many signs do we have to uh, see before we, you know, take the action. Um, and to me, I, I see it as very unnecessary, but it could be very harmful uh, pain caused to a lot of a lot of people um, if the pace of change, you know, displaces people's means of survival and income uh, at a greater rate, and governments and businesses and you know charitable organizations uh, can't absorb. Um, just the, the massive numbers that, that we could potentially see. So, you know, I think people debate on the time, and we can look at different uh, different different trends. Um, but you know, it's happening. And the thing about exponentials, they start out slow, but you know, they get faster and faster and faster. And so, you know, whenever you're seeing this, uh, you know, I guess let's just take some action. If there's anything I can do, let me know. Um, you know, I've thought about a lot of. A lot of solutions that uh, that we uh, can take, and so yeah, I think it's just a matter of us putting a plan in in, in place. Um, so, all right, thanks for watching this video, and uh, that's what's on my mind about uh, technological unemployment. And I think that this could be one of the biggest issues facing. Uh, kind of human survival uh, in, 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 in the near future. And uh, so, 
hopefully we will uh, we'll figure this out together, guys. And ladies. And people of all ages. <laughs> I mean, you know, we're, we're all in this together. So if anybody's got an idea, I think that... Uh, uh, let's, let's put it forward. And, but like I said, I've got some solutions. And uh, um, so if anybody wants to wants to talk or reach reach out, let me know. All right, have a great day.